This is the second video in learning about bitcoins and in this video we will learn about bitcoin wallet, bitcoin network and how to do a transaction in a bitcoin environment. This is a bitcoin online courses lecture 2. So let's look into how to start the bitcoin trading. So the first step in starting into bitcoin trading is having a bitcoin client. This client is also known as a wallet. You need to have a wallet installed in your system or in your, this can be installed in your computer, laptop and mobiles or smartphone. You can get your wallet from the bitcoin.org, choose your wallet link as shown. So when you go to that website, it will look something like this and you can choose from the different wallets available. One of the famous one is a bitcoin core which was used from the start or during the starting period of this Bitcoin revolution or the trading. Once the Bitcoin core is installed, it will look something like this. It will show your available balance, it should show your pricing and it will show, it will allow you to send and receive the Bitcoin money. The next thing to know about is what are keys, address and wallets. So once you have the Bitcoin installed, this is a system which works like banks. So there should be something to validate that you own certain amount of Bitcoins and to validate each and every transaction that happens on the network. So ownership of the Bitcoin is established through digital keys and Bitcoin address and digital signatures. The digital keys comes in pairs consisting of a private key which is like your bank pin number or your bank password and the public key which is very similar to your bank account number. The public key is very similar to account number and the private key is similar to the pin. So these two enable you to do transaction or which is associated to the Bitcoin transactions which you do. And another thing is a Bitcoin address. A Bitcoin address is also generated the time you create a Bitcoin wallet and the Bitcoin wallet is a string of digits and characters that can be shared with anyone so one, the person who has your Bitcoin address can send you money using that address so how to do transactions Bitcoin is designed to ensure that transaction can be created propagated on the network and validated once a transaction is created it is transferred through all the nodes on the network which are active and it has to be added to the general ledger once it is validated so every transaction that is created between two parties on the Bitcoin network has to be validated and the validation is done by the nodes or, or the peers on the network and once the validation happens it is added to a ledger which is known as blockchain so let's look into the transaction cycle so how a transaction is created and how it goes into the ledger or blockchain so the transaction creation is also known as the origination so suppose if x person wants to transfer some money to b person he will create a transaction the transaction is then signed with one or more signatures these are digital keys the transaction is now broadcasted on the bit network where each network node validate the transaction and this is verified by a mining node and recorded on the blockchain so the mining node will solve a complex mathematical problem and once it is solved the bitcoin is validated and put on the blockchain which is a ledger so let's look into how the bitcoin network works so the bitcoin is structured as a p2p network so the network is among the people who are in this network of the bitcoin trading who are involved all the people with the bitcoin client can get into the network or are essentially part of the bitcoin network this is an architecture on top of the internet so that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment also do watch the next video to know more about what data mine bitcoin mining is all about and how does the blockchain works and how is the bitcoin validated in the blockchain